Uh, greetings in the name of the Lord our God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory be to God in the highest place. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God from this day to forevermore. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in the highest place. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a great uh, God of power and glory we serve. The angels bow before him. The heavens and the earth bow before him. His glory covers the nations of the earth. His mercy endureth forever. His loving kindness, his tender mercies. Behold, you are praise God. <laughs> this evening is an easy evening, and we bless and glorify and magnify His holy name in very profound and succinct ways. And uh, we could not be more privileged and honored to magnify and glorify and exalt His holy name. What a kingdom we, we belong to. What a mighty God we serve. What a shepherd of our soul. Parallel and equal without compare, beyond compare. There is absolutely none like unto our God. Praise God. Praise God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. His name is lifted. His name is glorified. His name is exalted. His name is Lifted, praise God. Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. I'm going to be brief tonight, uh, all of us watching from different parts of the world, praise God. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Jesus is our shepherd, the shepherd of our soul the high priest of our confession, the anchor of our soul, uh, the high priest in the order of Melchizedek, and uh, the soon coming king, the root of uh, uh, David, uh, the beginning and the end. Without him, we are nothing, but with him, we have all uh, that we could ever Attain and achieve before God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. So please, uh, I'm going to give us uh, one minute to come in, and uh, not even a minute, 30 seconds or less, uh, to tune in as I just uh, am about to preach and about to teach. I'm about to extrapolate and unveil the truths from the Word of God. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceeded out of the mouth of God. For in him, Christ, we live and move and have our eternal being. Praise God. Glory be to God. We have seen Jesus as the shepherd of our soul, as the one who heals us, as the one who forgives our sins, and also as the one who, um, uh, who is on time to deliver us and to bless us and to lift us in the name of the Lord our God. Praise God. And tonight we're going to look into Jesus in another dimension altogether. And it's going to be very, very refreshing. Uh, very refreshing indeed because the shepherd takes care of the flock. Uh, the shepherd watches over the flock. Uh, the shepherd uh, loves, protects, shields, leads, uh, barricades, surrounds uh, the flock. Praise God. And so we are very uh, much uh, uh, in line and we are very much, uh, uh, very much in uh, great, uh, very much grateful for all that he is in our lives. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Glory be to God. Now, uh, the book of St. John, please. Uh, St. John, the ninth chapter. Praise God. If you please can tag, uh, you can tag to your friends. You can tag to other groups. You can also play it on a watch party. 
and um, so that the people of God will both rejoice and be glad and be blessed uh, through the preaching, the teaching of the word of the living God. <laughs> praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. St. John chapter 9. John was the youngest of all the disciples. John uh, was the youngest of all the disciples. And John was the beloved of the Lord that we all know and hear about. It was also John when Jesus was at the um, uh, Calvary of Golgotha at the crucifixion who said, Woman, behold, uh, he said, Behold, uh, uh, that he, he, uh, John was given the stewardship of uh, uh, watching over uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. I mean, uh, the surrogate mother in that case, praise God. And so uh, John was very close to Jesus, the same one who would even be able to tell that it was him even after the resurrection when he appeared before them while they had given up and they had gone back to fishing and they caught, tried to catch the fish and caught no fish. And uh, Jesus asked them, uh, children, do you have, uh, do you have meat with thee? In other words, do you have any food? And, 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 and Jesus was preparing the fish in the coals of fire by the Sea of uh, Galilee or by the Lake Genesaret or the Sea of Tiberias. And John was the very first one to note that it was Jesus. Praise God. And then Jesus, of course, had a great time with them. And then Peter asked, what, uh, what will you do about this one? And he asked him, he told him, uh, what is your problem if he lives until I come back? If he doesn't have to taste death, praise God. And so John is a beloved one who was always found close to Jesus, the youngest of the 12 disciples who later became the apostles. Now, John is the very one also who did not die out of uh, uh, persecution. The rest of the disciples who became the apostles were persecuted. They were beheaded. Some of uh, Peter was crucified upside down. The rest were beheaded, and some were crucified. Some were beheaded, and 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 John in particular. They tried to uh, kill him uh, by dropping him in a drum full of hot grease, so that uh, he will literally just melt. And then he survived. God's mercy and grace sustained and kept him, and he survived. And then he uh, was incarcerated in the Isle of Patmos, and they had supposed that he would die there, and he would not die. God sustained him. God sustained him. God kept him. The love of God, the protection of God, because he is the shepherd of our soul. He protects us. He shields us. He giveth us life. He maketh us to live a, a life a full of grace and full of glory and full of power. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. So they incarcerated him in the Isle of Patmos and supposed that he would die. But he wouldn't die. And he didn't die. He survived uh, the scorching heat, uh, the insulation of the sun by the day. He survived the wintry colds of the night that would cause pneumonia. He survived uh, the vipers and the puff adders and poisonous snakes of all sorts and kinds. He survived the jagged stones. He survived the hunger and the famine. He survived all kinds of harsh environments that would be found in the desert places. Jesus, the shepherd of our soul, sustained and kept him. You may be surrounded by very harsh conditions, economic conditions perhaps, even psychological conditions or emotional conditions that may be very harsh or may be discouraging or may be disarming or may be causing you to lose your face. But he's a shepherd of our soul. He looks over our lives and is in absolute control. Praise God. And so something very phenomenal and something very interesting happened. So after all this, John had to come back and also pen down and given us his dimension 
of the ministry of Jesus. And he brings us another dimension of the ministry of Jesus and the deity and the divinity of Jesus in a very profound way. He begins, unlike Luke, the beloved physician who became a chronicler, the great uh, historian, unlike uh, Levi, also called Matthew, and unlike Mark, also the evangelist, we realize uh, John writes the historicity of Jesus, the life of Jesus, in a very revelatory way. For instance, he does not begin with the lineage of Jesus or the genealogy of Jesus, the bloodline of Jesus. He begins, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word dwelt among us, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. He came to his own, and his own received him not, and he was a light of the world, and he that walketh before him walketh, uh, 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 you know, he's a light of the world, praise God. And so he comes with another dimension and very, very, very revelatory, uh, very peculiar and very different approach to the ministry and the life of Jesus. I am from the Father, the Father in me. I and the Father are one. Whatever the Father doeth, the Son does. Before Abraham was, I am. Abraham longed to see this day. So we see uh, John covering the dimensions of Jesus that we don't read off in the book of Mark, the book of Luke, the book of uh, Matthew, in the Synoptic Gospels. That's why we consider John, the book of John, as a revelatory book in the ministry and the life, the deity and the divinity of Jesus as the shepherd of our soul. Praise God. He, co he continually says, and if my word abide in thee and you abide in me, thou shalt ask the Father anything in my name and I shall do it to you. Ask that your joy shall be made complete and that joy shall be made perfect. Herein is the Father glorified that ye bear fruits and fruits that shall remain. Praise God. So dimensions and different uh, uh, insights and different revelations and great uh, uh, realms of the spiritual understanding that St. John gives us. Praise God. And now on the ninth chapter of the book, John, if we please can start reading. And so, Father, we thank you for the reading of the scripture from the ninth chapter of the book of St. John. We thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for opening our eyes of understanding. And thank you that we will never remain the same again. We thank you for the proceeding word in power and glory launched in our soul, in our heart, in our spirit to bring about a transformation, a change in a visitation of a kind like we have never experienced before. In Jesus' much less name we pray. And somebody said, Amen. Glory be to God. And Jesus passed by. He saw a blind man, which was blind from his birth. He was born blind. He was not uh, blind by reason of uh, the insulation of the sun, by reason of an accident, by reason of anything that perhaps could have happened in his uh, after birth. But this particular predicament happened to him right before he was brought forth to this world. He was born blind. Praise God. Now let's listen very keenly here. Very, very keenly. And Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? that he was born blind because the belief system then was that for every predicament, for anything outside, outside of alignment, anything that did not look like was complete in a human being was by reason of sin. That was their understanding. They interpreted every mess in life, the catastrophes or uh, unfortunate events in life, or a predicament in life, or a morass, or anything that did not seem to be perfectly, completely perfect in the will of God. Like uh, uh, somebody being paralyzed, or somebody being blind, or somebody being mute, somebody being dumb, or somebody being uh, uh, leprous, or somebody, just all misalignments. They would interpret that and under, uh, uh, understand that uh, and perceive that as uh, something that was caused by sin. 
But that was not necessarily the case. Praise God. It wasn't that they were right at all. And most of us today, for everything that happens, a tragedy that happens, or a predicament that happens, we always suppose, maybe I messed in this. Maybe I did not please God in this dimension. Maybe I, I, I did this wrong. I did the other wrong. But that may not necessarily be the case. Praise God. Now listen to the answer. And Jesus uh, answered, Neither has this man sinned. Praise God. Neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Praise God. Now, we all know, of course, that there are three kinds of sins. Praise God. There is one that is inherited, which is called sin, the Adamic nature. For God uh, was wrought uh, with a man called Adam, the first of the creation of God as a human species, Adam from soil, Adama, red soil, out of the clay molded a piece of clay and breath unto this piece of clay, the breath of lives in plural, Nashama Kaim, and this piece of clay became not only a living soul, but another speaking spirit in the likeness and the image in the nature after God. God breath is on divinity, his nature, his capacity, his ability, his, uh, uh, his outlook, his, uh, his, uh, his image and his imprint, his DNA in this piece of clay and became another speaking spirit in the likeness and in the nature of God. In the likeness and nature of God. And the lungs began to function, his eyes began to see, his nostrils began to breathe, his mouth kept open, his hands flapped, his feet, his high, uh, uh, feet began to move around, and everything about him that God created, poof, out of his breath came alive, and man became another speaking spirit in after God. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest place. Uh, then there are sins we commit, uh, uh, like transgressions, or so, you know, breaking of the law, and so forth. Uh, we're going against uh, the word of God. And then there are sins we commit that sometimes are inadvertent. Sins of omission and commission, praise God. So we have three kinds of sins. But... All of that, when we are regenerated in Christ, when we come to Christ, if any man be in Christ, all of that is dealt with. He became sin himself to destroy, to annihilate, and bring to naught the sting of sin in us. He came immortality wrapped in mortality, divinity wrapped in human flesh and took up our sins and became sin and then he defeated the very sin and so that we may receive his righteousness praise god he became sin to crucify and annihilate bring to naught and destroy and wipe away our sin so that we will receive his righteousness. So we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Praise God. The righteousness of God. Our own righteousness couldn't suffice. We cannot attain the holiness or the righteousness of God by works. It is by his own righteousness that makes us righteous. By that blood, we are acquitted from any sense of guilt and we are justified and then we are bequeathed with the nature of God. Praise God. Glory be to God. So Jesus answers them and tells them, neither the parents of that man born blind, neither that man's sins caused that man to be blind. And then he tells them, neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Neither his parents have sinned, or uh, neither have the sins of his parents caused his blindness or his own blindness, but that the works of God 
may be manifest in this man's blindness. Praise God. In other words, for every trouble, for every tragedy, for every predicament, for everything in our lives, God wants to receive and to take glory. Praise God. God is glorified through our life circumstances when God intervenes. When God intervenes in any circumstance in our lives, be very sure there would be a solution. Be very sure it will be straightened up. Be very sure it will be taken care of. And when God does that, he takes, receives the glory, and your life is edified. Praise God. That's why it is good to be inclined to God. Because God intervenes and changes the situation. He receives the glory, and our lives are edified. And so listen to this very carefully. He says, I must work the works of him that sent me. That is the shepherd now talking and preaching and speaking. He tells them, because I'm a shepherd, I must work the works of him that sent me. Who sent him? The Father. Praise God. Jesus came to destroy the power of sin in our lives. To destroy the works of the devil that we may receive the life of God, the righteousness of God, the blessing of God, the image of God. Praise God. So you and I are not just ordinary people. We are the reflection of the image and the likeness of God. Praise God. It says, while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. I am the shepherd, praise God. I am the light of the world. Jesus said, I am the true shepherd. I am the light of the world. O Shekalaba, no man by any wise cometh to me and I ignore them or I do not heed their cry. He is the true shepherd of our soul. <laughs> he watches over our lives, praise God. Now, I'm talking in two ways here. Number one, for us who have not experienced the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, he watches over us to deliver us and to save us so that we belong to him. For those of us who have already received him, we belong to an eternal kingdom of God. We have attained his righteousness and therefore we have the bona fide access and right to receive every blessing and to walk in the fullness of the glory of God and in the fullness of the power and authority of God because we have received the bona fide privilege to be called sons and daughters of the most high God. So Jesus looks at the, the disciples and tells them, this man was not born blind by reason of his parents' sins or his own sins, but that the works of God may be made manifest, may be proven through this circumstance, through this situation. Could it be that as I'm preaching right now, somebody is in a big mess, somebody is in big trouble, and God wants to glorify his name and establish his kingdom and lift his name and receive all the glory in your circumstance. If you gave him an opportunity to step in and change the situation, praise God. Glory be to God. O Shela Mandulaba. My God, my God, glory be to God. So Jesus tells them that the works of God, that the power of God may be manifest. That the glory of God may be revealed, may be manifest. That the will, the purpose, the pleasure of God may be accomplished through this predicament. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. 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 
that the will of God may be revealed, that the pleasure of God may be manifest, that the works of God may be exemplified, that the glory of God may be seen. God wants to receive glory, to manifest His glory, to exhibit His power in our circumstances, in our situations, in everything that happens in our lives when we give Him an opportunity, when we give Him access, when we allow Him to intervene, God will want to take the glory. Praise God. No matter what situation, no matter where we are, no matter what happens to us, the Lord God wants to take the glory. That's why he is the true shepherd. Why? He watches over our lives and he wants to receive the glory in everything that happens in our lives. Praise God. Now listen to all this that is happening right now. He says, when he had thus spoken, praise God, he spat on the ground, the very ground that was cast, praise God. The ground was spoken, certain words were spoken to the ground uh, when God was declaring uh, judgments on uh, Adam. Thou shall have difficulties in the tilling of the ground. And the very one that created the ground spat on the ground. The ground was no more under curse, but the ground was blessed so that every blessing of God on the ground will come upon you and I. Our ground is blessed. You are blessed wherever you are, whichever nation, whichever ground, wherever you are, you are blessed. Praise God. The ground is not cursed. The ground has no misfortune. The ground is not under bondage. The ground is blessed because of the shepherd, because of Jesus' blessing in your life, over your life. Praise God. He spat on the ground, picked a piece of clay, and rubbed on the eyes of this blind man. And he made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Praise God. Clay. He used the clay. O Shelama. God uses anything to bless his people. God can bless, can use a donkey to take you to Jerusalem, praise God. Uh, God can gush waters out of the rock to satiate your thirst. God can use a jawbone of an ass to cause you to slay 10,000 Philistines. Oh my God, that is a man called Samson. Glory be to God. And by a ragtag small army, Gideon, Demolish all of the Amorites, I mean the, uh, the, 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 the Midianites and the main of the East, praise God. By a jawbone of an ass, Samson slayed 10,000 Philistines. By a sling and one stone, David brought down a 12 feet giant, praise God. That's how our God operates. By five barley loaves and two fish, over 5,000 people were fed. And 12 basketfuls remained over the same. Glory be to God. When they ran out of wine, the fuckings were filled with water and they enjoyed. Then they said, never have we tasted sweeter wine than this ever before. When a woman whose husband was a prophet of God in the Old Testament uh, and his uh, children were about to be sold because she had nothing uh, over her life. She had misfortunes. She was under debts and she was to sell. The children were to be sold so that the debts would be recovered. And the prophet of God came to the house and said, go borrow vessels from your neighbors. Borrow as many as you can and fill the vessels with water. And as many as the vessels she brought as filled with water, and the water was turned into very high quality oil. And she was commanded by the prophet, go and sell as much, pay off your debts, and some keep for yourself, for your personal use, 
and sell some for your own profit. That's our God. God always wants to receive glory in every situation and every circumstance in our lives. Don't worry. Don't give up. Don't complain. Go to the word of God. Begin to praise him. Begin to declare your bona fide rights in the kingdom of God. Every blessing belongs to you. Every miracle belongs to you. Jesus said, whatever you ask my father in my name, if I don't have it, I will give it to you. I will create it for you. Praise God. Whatever you ask the father in my name, if I don't have it, I will create it for you. God is creative. God is never out of uh, uh, creativity or out of power. His ability is always in action, in motion. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. What a kingdom we belong unto. What a shepherd we, we have. O Shela Mandalaba. We are the sheep of his pasture. He is the shepherd of our soul. The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. My shepherd. Our shepherd. We shall not want for anything. He maketh us lie in abundance of grace, in abundance of glory, in abundance of provision, in abundance of wisdom, in abundance of power, in abundance of divine orchestrations, in abundance and overflow of everything that God is. Lift up your voices and give God a shout of praise. He said, this man is not blind by reason of his own sins or the sins of his parents, but that the glory of God may be revealed, may be manifest in this situation. Are you facing any situation that you want, a God, you want God to intervene? Then you are the prime target of the manifestation of the glory of God in your life. Praise God. You are the prime target of the manifestation of the glory of God. I say again, you now listening are the prime target of the manifestation of the glory of God. You are watching me right now and you are in dire straits and you're wondering whence your help is going to come from. David said, I look under the hills from whence my help cometh from. My help cometh from God the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. The shepherd of our soul. The anchor of our soul. The high priest of our confession. Confess the word. Say the word. Declare your word in glory. And the shepherd will act according to his promise over your situation. This situation is not unto death, but the glory of God may be manifest. For this cause, the Son of Man was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Praise God. And he anointed his eyes that were blind, his eyes that couldn't see. Lord, anoint our eyes to see your glory. Anoint our eyes to see your wonders. Anoint our eyes to see your goodness, to see your mercy, to see your generosity, to see your benevolence, to see your vast expanse, grace without end, O God. Lord, to see our blessings, to cause us, our, our, our cups to run over, to overflow, and cause your blessings to burst by the seams in the name of the Lord our God. Open our eyes, O God, to see your power in the land of the living. Open our eyes to see your glory in the name of Jesus. For many other people who have been groping in darkness, many have been living in the flesh, but Fulfilling the works of the Spirit, you gotta be spiritual. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must come to Him because He is a spirit. Praise God. We worship, we serve Him, we glorify His holy name because we know His glory is in us. Glory be to God. 
Then he says, when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, go wash in the pool of Siloam. Which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and he washed and he came seeing. Oh, <laughs> He washed at the pool of Siloam. Symbolic of the pool of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit cleanses us, washes us. Oh, Makarabaha shekin to the hisulaba. Labro ho shela mansi antola bakarari kelehese. Ala monde be shekin to la mando. I karabasi antoba ha shekin te. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Alicia Lala, I prophesy to your life. You're gonna grow in grace and gonna grow in the power of God in the name of Jesus. O Shela Mandala. Let me read from the Amplified Version. As he passed along, he noticed a blind man from his bath. His disciples asked him, Rabbi. Rabbi means the teacher of teachers. Praise God. Teacher of teachers. Rabbi. Praise God. Rabbi. Who's, his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sin, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? And Jesus said, it was not that this man or his parents sinned, but he was born blind in order that the workings of God should be manifested, displayed and illustrated and demonstrated in him. God wants to demonstrate his workings, his glory in our lives. God wants to illustrate, to manifest, to exhibit, to display his works and his glory in our lives. Can you imagine we being the display of the works of the glory of God. Can we imagine that? <laughs> Praise God. We must work the works of him who sent me and be busy with his business while it is daylight. Night is coming on when no man can work. I'm going to preach on, on verse 4. I want to preach on verse 4. Uh, it will be, it will be a preaching and a teaching by itself. Praise God. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light. I'm the world's light. As long as I'm in the world, I am the world's light. Praise God. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made clay mud with his saliva and he spread it as ointment on the man's eyes and he said to him go wash in the pool of siloam which means sent so he went and washed and came back seeing praise god he came back with open eyes he was born blind he was born blind he couldn't see when he, jesus anointed his eyes spat on the ground, picked a piece of the clay and rubbed on his eyes and sent him to the pool of Siloam to go and wash his eyes. As soon as he washed his eyes, his eyes opened and he saw. And he came back saying, a man who went blind came back saying, O Sherabba, you came with troubles after you listened to this word, you are blessed because the word of God has opened your life and opened your eyes of understanding to see the glory of the living God. No more limitation, no retrogression, no regress, no drawing back to perdition, upward journey always. Blessings, joy, peace, prosperity, wealth, wholeness, soundness, wellness, Divine orchestrations, divine encounters, 
everything good, every good and perfect gift that cometh from above, from the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. For we are willing to eat the good of the land. Praise God. God, we are wise, we are walking in the wisdom of God, we are the aristocracy of the kingdom of God, our gates are praise, our words are prosperity, we are in the courtyards of the Lord, and they that be found in the courts of the Lord, they shall still be praising the Lord. And we are like the cedars of Lebanon. And we are like the aristocracy of the kingdom of God. And so we are. That cannot be questioned or changed. And so it's established. And so be it. We are flourishing like a palm tree. We can't be bent to break. We may be bent, but we can break. Though we stumble, but we cannot utterly fall. We shall rise up again. Seven times we may fall, but the seventh time, O Shela Mandalaba, meaning to as many times we can fall, O Shela Ba, we can always rise up again. O Limando, Babon de Besha Cantolaba, our God is mighty because He's a shepherd of our soul. We may have been blind. We are, may have been groping in the darkness. But today, our eyes are open to see the glory of God, to see our future, to see our destiny, to see our joy, our prosperity, our wealth and our blessings, and the ministry of the angels of our lives, and the divine orchestrations of God. For the hand of our shepherd is upon us, and the glory of God is within us. And so we are not going to fall off the cliff, but the steps of the righteous, they are established, made firm, and ordained by the Lord, and He leadeth us to the paths of righteousness. Oh, Shelama Siantolaba, Koraba Sikabokon Tolaba Sikalaba, Mandolaba Sekente, Marikele Messianto, Bambonda Banda La Bosaba, Glory be to God. My God in heaven, he was born blind, not because of his sins. He was born blind, not because of his parents' sin. He was born blind, not because of blaming anybody. But God's glory may be manifest. Glory be to God. God wants to demonstrate. God wants to exhibit. God wants to display. God wants to illustrate. O Shela Mandolaba, God wants to showcase, O Shelaba, His glory in our lives. Glory be to God in our lives. O Shela Mande Bahoshe Galaba, you have been limiting God for a very long time. God says, Now is not a time to limit my glory again. O Shela Mandolaba, I can do exceedingly, abundantly, infinitely beyond your wildest imagination according to my power that I have invested in you. The power is within you. The ability and the strength and the might is within you. Rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, Ushelaba. He went to the pool of Siloam blind. He came back seeing. You may have started on a wrong footing, but your uh, footing has been straightened up and been corrected. You may have been all shame out of joint for all these days of this time, but you're coming back. In grace and in the power of God, God's hand has been revealed and no more shelaba being drawn back by any forces of darkness. You're no longer under any bondage. You're no longer under any curse. You have been lifted. You have been raised by the glory of God. The glory of God is right inside of you. Walk ye in that glory. O Shelamandalaba, reason ye in that glory. Walk ye in that glory. O Shelaba, exhibit, manifest, showcase, display his glory. Just be a showcase. Just be a display. O Shelamandalaba, Shakaba, Libromon de Lebe. Be the exhibit. Oh my God, O Shelamandalaba. Be the 
package in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, they that belong to him, they are a sign and a wonder to the world. When they see you, when they see us, when they see me, oh, Shema and they see a sign, they see a wonder, they see a showcase, they see an exhibit, they see a display of the glory of God, of the wisdom and the power of God over our lives in the name of Jesus. You can be ignored, you can be pushed aside, you can be hidden anymore. The glory of the fullness of the glory of God is upon you. So rise up and just be the exhibit and be the display in the name of the Lord my God, in the name of Jesus. Neither his sin or the sins of his parents were the cause for his blindness. Many other times we have blamed people and pushed blame to others for all our situations, for all our problems, for all the things that happened to us. And yet God is not limited by what people did against thee or how circumstances pushed you down or how you are betrayed or how you are scandalized or how there wasn't a pleasant environment for you to flourish and blossom on how this and the other. God can shift the atmosphere and change the atmosphere. God can remove the wrong people and send the right ones your way. He can order your steps out of that place and lead you by spirit the paths of glory in the name of Jesus. My God in heaven, lift up your voices and give God a shout of praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, Mandolaba. Oh, my God, I need to stop over here, but I'll be back tomorrow again. But before I close, I want to give you an opportunity to give your life to Christ. No preaching or teaching is full or complete without giving us an opportunity to give our lives to Christ. The essence of all the teachings and the preachings is that we may be born again, be in the kingdom of God. Christ may be formed in our lives. Praise God. Oh, Shalaba. Mandola Basheba, so receive eternal life by confessing, confessing the Lordship of Christ, receiving Jesus as the Lord and the Savior and the Redeemer of your soul, and you will enter the kingdom of God and become the aristocracy of the kingdom of God and the recipients of His glory. And you will receive eternal life and every blessing that God has spoken over his life belongs to you depending on how you appropriate them, depending on how you receive them in the name of the Lord our God. So say this after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I recognize today that your righteousness, your power and your glory, Lord, uh, hath uh, intervened for me. Father, I open my heart to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. With my mouth I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and by his precious blood that he shed, I am, I, I am forgiven of my sins. My heart I believe unto righteousness. Jesus is my Lord and Savior and Redeemer of my soul. Thank you, Lord. Today I'm a child of God. I belong in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you, and the Lord do you good. Oh, hallelujah. So don't be condemned. Sin hath no power anymore over our lives. By his blood, he we overcame sins. And by his glory, we have been recreated in his image and likeness. We are the reflection of his image and likeness, recreated in Christ Jesus. Praise God. The Lord bless you and keep you. See you tomorrow again. Share the broadcast on your page. Send it to as many groups as you can. And also do subscribe on our YouTube channel. God bless you. Love you all. In Jesus' name. Amen.